This is probably going to be a bit of a random video. I'm not exactly sure what it's going to turn out to be, but right now I'm making a salad, so I will show you that. This is the bowl that I usually use, and this is the bowl that I'm using today. So for my salads, I always start off with a base of either broccoli, spinach, or kale. I love my leafy greens, um, but I typically think that the darker, the better. So we're starting off with, um, what is this? We're starting off with spinach. Last night, I made this coleslaw to go with these cheeseburgers that we made. And it's pretty good, it's very simple. So I'm just gonna add that to the salad. It is red cabbage, jalapeno, three different carrots, and just up like onion powder, vegan mayo, salt and pepper. Very simple. I do have a hard boiled egg that I'm going to add to my salad. Broccoli sprouts are my new favorite thing. I'm going to use olive oil as my dressing just with a little bit of salt and pepper. So that's how my salad looks so far, but I'm going to add a special ingredient on top. You already know the drill, sauerkraut. Very simple, very clean salad. So, a few videos ago, I finally showed that I was eating eggs, and I showed that for the first time ever on my YouTube channel, because up until that point, I was not eating eggs. I was completely vegan. I have been completely vegan for over a year now. I might do a video all about my vegan story later on, but basically at 14 years old, or 15 years old, I stopped eating meat, and at 18 years old, I went vegan, and I've been vegan on and off since then, but this entire time, I've been vegetarian. Does that make sense? So basically for the past almost five years, I've been vegan on and off. So like for a couple months out of like the year, I'll be vegan. Are you with me? Okay. So right now I'm not eating meat, I'm not eating dairy, but I did start incorporating eggs into my diet because I stopped eating most beans, grains, gluten, and alcohol because those things make me feel like total crap. So let me just read you this Instagram post that I just posted and hopefully that will clear up any confusion about my diet. I'm not promoting the consumption of animal products. I'm simply just being honest with you and sharing my healthy diet and what I eat to make myself feel good. Okay? Okay. I have my laptop like right here off to the side so that's where my focus will be. If you keep up with my YouTube channel or Instagram, you'll notice that I've changed my label from vegan to plant-based. Why do I feel the need to label myself? I have no freaking clue. Maybe I want to categorize myself, or perhaps I do it for social media purposes, for easy identification of who I am and what I'm about. But here's the thing. You will never know who I am based off of a label. I am a multifaceted person who wants to promote health and wellness, mindful indulgence, positivity, and love. I want to show the world that eating healthy is self-love and that every single body deserves to be nurtured and cared for. You deserve to feel good, and I can offer whoever pays attention to my presence on this platform my own version of health. And that's where the idea of Health by Hales came from. You're probably noticing the egg in my salad and how that's not very plant-based of me. I am not here to promote the consumption of animal products, but I am here to tell you that I've been feeling like total doo-doo and this egg is helping. For the last few months, I've experienced the worst digestion I've ever had. I'll spare you the details, but I've essentially cut out most beans, grains, gluten, and alcohol, only ever consuming these items sparingly and knowing that in the next morning, it could be a hellish experience. With the absence of those components in my diet that doesn't exactly leave an abundance of foods for me left to enjoy. Fruits and vegetables always make up the majority of my diet, but eating just those things can only satisfy this gal for so long. Everyone is different, and my body just does not thrive off a strict 
vegetable and fruit only diet. Long story short, I eat an egg every once in a while. No, I don't eat meat or dairy. Yes, I feel better now that I'm listening to my body. Thank you for reading this. So there you have it. After my salad, I ate a pickle and now I'm eating kale chips. I'm very well-rounded. you guys, please. Is this normal behavior for cats? <laughs> Don't buy Today's breakfast is a nectarine, some grapes, two Brazil nuts, and a hard-boiled egg with lots of cracked pepper. I've been in such a snacky sweet mood all day, so I've pretty much just been eating grapes non-stop. Um, but now it's time for me to step out of my comfort zone and eat something else. And I chose a Lara bar. This is the coconut kale cacao superfoods Lara bar. It's so good and we keep them in the fridge because it just makes them that much better. I'm gonna dip that into some almond butter and I'm gonna eat some more grapes. And I'm just sipping on coffee while I write a blog post and do some more computer work. Are we really surprised that I'm eating another snack? No, let's be honest, we're not surprised at all. Right now I'm having a coconut curry hummus with some tiny little sweet peppers.